Hey guys, check this girl out. This is Nebula, and she is a green anaconda. I am still hanging out here with Crosstown Exotics out at the Chicago Animal Expo, and uh, she is squirming all around here. But you can see, pretty as snake she is. And anacondas often get a bad rap um, because of the movie Anaconda. But when you work with them, they can actually get really tame. Mike, what? What? Look at this frog. He's huge. What's his deal? So this is Jelly Bean. He's our African giant bullfrog, or a pixie frog is another name they go by. Um, just kind of a big species of big chubby frog. And uh, he's actually still growing, to be honest with you. Oh, settle down, buddy. They can get up to 10 inches long. So they're one of the biggest frogs in the world. Um, we know Jelly Bean's a boy. There's a frog bigger than this guy? Uh, I think it was like the Goliath frog. Yeah, it gets a little bit bigger than these guys do. Uh, but yeah, Jelly Bean's gonna be a monster when he's full grown. Not that he's not already a monster. Um, but yeah, and as I say, one reason we know he's a boy, he's got these orange armpits and a big head, um, which is a signal that he's a male. And as far as what we feed him, he gets an awesome varied diet of large mice, small rats. He's a big fan of earthworms and roaches. And uh, we give him the occasional like uh, quail chick, other large bugs if we can get them. Hornworms are another favorite of his. And he's a lot like having a pet rock that bites. He just sits really still. When he gets uh, excited, he'll lunge forward and try to eat something. But yeah, he's one of our favorite ambassador animals. He comes to uh, almost every show. He's just a baby. About so 12 weeks? Yeah. And I'm hanging out with Aaron's farm. Yeah. And Aaron, what do you guys do? So we are a nonprofit 501c3 uh, like animal rescue and sanctuary. So we have farmed animals, we have exotics, uh, kind of uh, people's pets that needed a home, and, and oddballs like this, like this little uh, goofy little did you, emu. Did you hatch this emu yourself? No, somebody else hatched him. It was like part of a bucket list. They just wanted to hatch an emu for fun, and uh, which she did, but um, he's fed the wrong diet, so he's got some leg problems. He's got the splayed oh, no, legs, so no. uh, we took some x-rays, and he just doesn't have enough calcium and minerals, so we're gonna, he's on a, the rat-type diet now, because he's a rat-type bird, not a chicken. So he's on the proper food with calcium, so we're gonna give it a try, and if that doesn't work, we might get a little brace made for him or something like that, so. Yeah, he's a cute little guy. Yeah, because they get like 150 pounds, and you know, like, uh, it's the second largest bird, I think, in the world. Yeah, the first is the ostrich, you know, from Australia, so these guys are, from, um, ostrich I forgot these guys are from Australia so it's uh, these guys in the cast are the biggest red tights over there so they get bit 150 yeah. pounds so he needs he what, needs what good is legs that is Hamra. Hamra is an eclectus. She's a female eclectus. An eclectus is a birds from uh, similar to parrots uh, from Australia and they are sexually dimorphic so the females are red and the boys are green. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Bubba. Bubba? Bubba the big. <laughs>